Hello everyone, it's Ben here from Ben's Collectibles, and today I'm taking a look at the TF01 Master Armor, the Trailer Force from Crossover Gen Productions. Uh, Crossover Gen Productions sought for Crossover Generation. This is their second piece, the first being the Grand Patriot. Uh, they're a third party company that uh, do everything in house, basically. They design and produce their own figures. Um, I was absolutely in love with this figure um, as soon as I saw it. Uh, I'm a big, big, big Power Master Prime fan. Uh, the box is nicely detailed. As you can see, uh, you've got a little image of him there. That's uh, kind of what he looks like. Then you've got a really nice uh, design on the side here. Oh, that's good. <laughs> really, really nice. Kind of a blueprint, isn't it? And a little sneak peek at the bottom here. Their next production is a God Bomber armor set for this figure. I cannot wait for that. Just opening up the box, you can see we've got it in um, kind of in the prime mode already uh, with a nice head sculpt. You've got his uh, trailer accessories here, his weapons, his guns, his trailer hitches, and his cannons. Yeah, it's uh, looking all good. You've got a very large instruction manual. Fairly detailed, and inside we've got a nice solid card here with some tech spec, uh, only one sided, but very good nonetheless. Starting off in trailer mode, um, I am very, very, very happy. This is absolutely solid. Um, I can only compare it to the City Commander set from Fans Project. It feels that sort of plastic quality. It's very weighty and just really, really well built. I was extremely surprised how heavy this is. It just feels like a solid lump of plastic. As you can see, the trailer itself is very detailed and absolutely full of weapons. There's a heck of a lot there. Now, let's get our uh, Henke or your Classics Prime. Get him into his vehicle mode. And you basically want to hitch him up using the uh, provided port and the peg on the back. And it would literally just plug in like so, he says, as he juggles the prime and the camera. There we go. Now, how good does that look? And it rolls. It rolls successfully. <laughs> wow, I am very impressed. That is a very good size trailer. It would absolutely dwarf the City Commander set. That is just a good piece of engineering. I am genuinely impressed. It just looks so good. And who we have here? That's right. Oh, Master Prime. Grab your clip, people. Now, let's see how does this go on. Uh, you want to pop your peg so it's uh, this way. Yeah, pop your peg so it's on here. And place on like so. Now, you see that square clip on there? That, again, just plugs into your trailer. And look, Power Master Prime. Yeah, yeah. I think he looks good pulling the trailer. Let's get these uh, weapons off and let's get him into bot mode, shall we? This this is why I got this guy. Take your cannons off. Take the side rocket launchers off. And uh, I'm going to pinch and pull down these side sections like so revealing the legs then you just pop them up and there is a head very nicely placed and hidden when in truck mode look at the detail on that that is a very good head sculpt and the underside here was also pegged into the back of the body now straighten up those legs Oh, lovely tight ratchet joints. Uh, pull out the arm sections, again, which just pegged in nicely. 
and you want to grab your wheels and they are on a hinge joint that will rotate round and come round here to the side like so. Oh, nice, very nice. Get your foot out, just literally slide it down and unfold. Now you can split your legs apart like so. And grab the upper cab and it's on a slide so you can just pull these sections apart. There we go. And grab your arms and pull them up like that. God, look at those. Those joints are so, so good. Extend the arms like that. And you want to grab those. This little piece here, we'll come to that later. Grab those and pull that down and that down. And I just push and tab. Oh, look at that. Ah, that. It's all good, it's all good. Now, at the back here, you want to lift this section up and fold it like so. The arms you want to rotate round so the port is on the outside and you want to grab your hand and plug it in like so. Now at the bottom of the fish you'll see there's just a little ball socket, there's a hole underneath the arm there and that should plug in nice and tight. There we go, that's your arms pretty much done. They are very good hands. Right. Your classics or your uh, henke. Let's get him ready. Uh, take the guns off. Take the hood off. Uh, fold these tabs back. Like so. And you want to just pull the leg section down so it's at an angle. Thread the legs through. Like so. And at this point, you can rotate the waist to bring the crotch section round to the front. Pull these legs back down. And with the wheels positioned just in front of the... There we go. As you can see, just in front of these ports here, the wheels slot just in front of those, and it closes nicely around it. Now at this point there is a small gap at the back, this is where this little bit come in handy again. It will slide back in there and I'll just come away there, I'll just give it a little push down and it locks everything into place. You can then plug your prime head in like so then pull the back section down locking the legs into place. Arm cannons Ready? <laughs> it's going to look good. Leg cannons. There. Into there. Like so. And push that down. And for the rifle, you want to open up these fully articulated finger. Well, the fingers themselves are bent, but every single finger is articulated individually. Pull the uh, gun handle down. Move those hands open. And clench them round and fold the thumb in, like so. These are very similar to Gundam hands and a very, very good choice of hands to use, in my opinion. And there we have him. A truly magnificent Power Master Prime. I mean, this guy, there's been so much detail gone into him. I mean, even every single one of these little flaps moves up out of the way to give you full range of movement on him. I mean, he's got full articulation in the head. Shoulders are on a ball. Swivels, double biceps. Yep, there is double. Yeah, double at, double at the elbow. Um... Rotating hands, fingers, waist, 
Uh, you've got very good joint, very tight joints. Um, I did contact them regarding the tight joints because they are super tight. They are really spot on. And uh, basically, they've gone round to the distributors and uh, asked whether they prefer the joints to be tight or to be uh, looser. And um, they've got back to them saying tighter. So they've done what the uh, what the stores wanted. And uh, the end result is a very, very good representation of uh, Powermaster Prime. I mean, that is spot on. It's a shame they couldn't have the uh, light up feature, because um, originally they were going to have LEDs. Um, but he just looks darn good. This is how I'm going to have him posed. He is going to be displayed with my Henke Prime bright on my shelf, right in the middle of the glass cabinet. Now, let's pull him apart. Head off. Chest. Open. Like so. There we go. And let's take this out. We won't be needing this at this point. And let's get this back section back up. Henge, let's take your legs out, give them a little tug and a wiggle, and Power Master Prime. Um, let's pop him in. Need this back section pushed down so it locks into place. You have a back. Uh, I'm just going to take Q out for now just to show you how it looks. And these bits just sit nicely in there, securing everything in. Uh, you need this little peg that came with it that you use for the trailer hitch that pops on top in that hole and this is now the head port and there we have him <laughs> he does look good uh, i'm gonna have to stick a uh, high q in now i think if i'd if i'd have him displayed like this he'd have to have high q on the chest like so yeah it looks better doesn't it but wait there's more <laughs> there he is all he pegged up well, the chest piece fits on in this mode anyway, but as we saw from the box, they're making their own beefed up Apex armor, and I can't wait. And there is more. Let's get your Powermaster cab out, lock this back into place, spin it around, basically all I've done, I've took the arm pieces off and put them on the alternative arms and swiveled the waist round. And you're left with this section here, Two holes in there, grab your back section, that now plugs in to form the top of the cab. If I just uh, push this in here, like so. And we grab our head. Oh, I've still got the, uh, sorry, I've still got the cab connector on here. Let's pop the head on like so. And there you have it. A complete standalone prime. Now this actually really resembles the uh, Grand Patriot, doesn't it? In my opinion, that's kind of the Grand Patriot's chest. Now that is pretty good. So if you don't have the primes, you can actually display the figure entirely on his own. Now he also has a base mode. Get everything off and everything out. You want to twist the legs up like so. Pull the wheels round so they're facing up and bend the feet back. You want to have the arms up. Now they will only bend one way, so it won't bend this way. So you want to spin it round on its elbow and bend it back over. So it's kind of like a, a cannon. You want to have your legs in this kind of WM kind of position. So it looks like this. You want to grab your base panel and you'll notice there's a hole here and a hole here. They plug in on the legs like so and like so and the croc section actually pulls apart and slides either side of that base panel. You can then add your weapons. Uh, we'll stick a gun, uh, you can have these any way you want. There's all different sorts of variations. I want the guns on here. On the top here, I'm going to have the uh, rocket launchers. And I'll stick his 
double cannons on his legs like so. That'll do me. That's a pretty awesome base mode. <laughs> Look at that. That is beefed up. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, nothing goes to waste. Uh, obviously with this, um, you've still got your storage. You've got your legs. Um, kind of secure those at the back. And your head can be secured underneath. And I'll leave you with one little trick that this kit has up its sleeve. Get one Generation 1 Prime. Place in the centre of the armour kit and close the surrounds. Place the red backing plate on top. And voila, one very, very awesome Generation 1 Prime. <laughs> Thanks ever so much for um, Paul for lending me the Apex armour and Lee for lending me the Generation 1 Prime. Thanks again to Crossover Gen for letting me showcase their work. I've been Ben. This has been Trailer Force 1. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.